10 seconds, I walk inside to wherever we're going. Uh, now we're long underwear, so it's really not that, that big a deal. Uh, one quick anecdote, uh, there was actually a, a gentleman who now does real estate in, in New Hampshire who moved from Las Vegas uh, several years ago. And uh, the, it, it, he was, um, he, he went to the bank to uh, make a deposit at the ATM. And of course he was cold, so he was wearing his face mask. <laughs> and he, uh, he made the deposit and he got back in his car and he went home and about a, 40 minutes later there was a knock on the door, it was the police. They said, um, we, um, so we know you just made a deposit at the bank and, and everything's fine, but were you wearing a ski mask? <laughs> yes. It's, it's October, it's 50 degrees out. <laughs> Generally here in New Hampshire, regardless of how cold it is, take the ski mask off when you go to the ATM. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> which also is, I think, probably speaks a little bit to the, the police situation in New Hampshire, which Carla will tell you is, is bad at getting worse, but generally, you know, compared to say, um, you know, Dallas is uh, probably probably a lot better than average. So, um, so, but so the answer is you hate the garage. The answer is you hate the garage. <laughs> it's re it's really not you know it's not that bad. And yes, we have we have seasons, um, and you know we have winter, but we also have spring. We also have a really beautiful fall. The fall foliage uh, turning. If you haven't ever seen it, it's really worth coming to visit for. Um, and then summer is beautiful, and we, New Hampshire, you know, has the beach, and we have the mountains, and we've got the lakes, and at every different time of year, there's a different activity to be, to be done at each one of those places. Um, so from all the winter sports, like, you know, skiing, and cross country, and, and snowboarding, and, and snowmobiling, and hunting, uh, through to the winter, you know, ocean sports, like sailing, and surfing, and, and swimming. Uh, there's a lot of different things to do um, all year long, so it, it's a mix, you know. I'm like here where it's just hot all the time. <laughs> yeah, right, you, I mean, we, we uh, you know, we're on the circuit, so we get to go to all these uh, different conventions and all these different uh, places, so uh, we get out uh, occasionally. And it's fine. I actually moved from Washington State. I was in Washington State for a few years before moving to New Hampshire. Um, where it never gets, you know, it never snows really, um, where I, I was near, near Portland, uh, Oregon. Uh, it never snows, but in the winter, you'll go a week or two without seeing one hour of sunshine, and it's just depressing. And I would much rather be in New Hampshire, where it's freezing, but sunny, uh, and if it's not sunny today, it will be tomorrow. Um, I, I, I prefer that personally, so, yeah. Well, what's the, the business environment like? How is, it, is there a support system there? Is there good networking, uh, in, good infrastructure? What's it like if you were to move a business there or wish to start one there versus other locales? Is there a startup city vibe or not yet? Are you guys working on one? Um, there are a couple of different uh, uh, side for, for that. Um, one is in Manchester. Uh, there's a there's an incubator called uh, Alpha Loft that has done a lot of uh, started up, uh, done a lot of startups. Um, that is not a, a, a free stater thing, although I've met one of the guys that, that runs it, and he you know is he's basically on our side. Um, so in, in Manchester, there's some other tech companies like Dyn is headquartered there. They're one of the anchor tenants, um, and uh, so there, there's a little hub of activity there. And then over on the seacoast, uh, sort of in the Portsmouth area. Um, more of the, there's a more of a free stater um, uh, presence there in the, in that sort of tech and marketing uh, uh, space. Um, so there's some some uh, infrastructure and some network uh, that exists there. Um, it I think still has a, a long way to go, and, and a lot of it is is sort of Boston orbit. So it sort of revolves around Boston, uh, which um, is fine. Uh, but I would love to see it grow into more of its own its own thing. The business uh, commute, the business um, climate in New Hampshire um, is all right, but it's not great. Um, there's some high, uh, fairly high uh, business uh, business taxes. We have a, a, a profits tax, and what? Well, they did they did recently cut it slightly, so it's now at least at the Massachusetts level, um, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to trend down over the next five years, I think, by like a quarter point. Uh, every year, so fast, fast, and fed. Uh, so, the, and, and so there is a little bit of progress on that. Um, 
you know, when you look at the, at the tax, the, the sort of all-in tax picture, uh, part of the reason why New Hampshire was chosen is because we have no income, no broad-based income tax and no sales tax. Um, so most of the taxes are done by either, either property taxes or specific sales taxes on specific things like alcohol and um, there's a rooms and meals tax. And then of course there's the business tax. Um, so it's, that's one of those things that's definitely high on the list of things to work on and that's something that we do get. Um, you know, we're obviously not the only ones in the state that are focusing on that. Um, that's a, you know, that's a, everyone sort of understands I think what you know, the effect of that is and organizations like AFP, you know, Americans for Prosperity are pretty active in, in fighting against, um, you know, fighting against that. So uh, to, to answer your question, um, yes, there's some, but there could be a lot more and, um, you know, we need to get rid of, uh, of some of the, the regulation and taxes before we can really expect to have the sort of, you know, vibrant scene that we, we want to see there long term.